Well, the uh, script is finito, <laughs> finally. Yes. And we are super excited. Yeah. We're, uh, we're actually really excited to move on to the audition process later today. Um, mm -hmm. Ian said that he had something in mind for us. Yeah. Uh, Ian said that he had someone in line for the male role, so we're going to see how that goes. And then the regular auditions are later in the day. Kevin! I am Robert. I'm an actor by nature, a performer by heart, and a Bath and Body Works associate by night. Wow. Is that Frisia's sunrise? <sighs> yes. How'd you know? Uh, what will you be performing for us today? I will be performing a poem by Christopher Smart entitled Jubilante Agno! Or for my cat. Whoa. Okay. <sighs> For I will consider my cat Jeffrey. For he is the servant of the living God, duly and daily serving him. Hmm. Well, I am an actor. I live for the screen. My whole life is the screen. Some people say to me, what if acting doesn't work out? What are you going to do? Well, I say to them, I say to the naysayers, I have absolutely nothing to fall back on. Except for my exceptional talent and acting skill. That's a check few can cash, and well, I'm in line at the ATM of stardom. Waiting. Wait, I should probably go get a debit card. You're welcome. You're hired. Yes! Yes! So much. Yes! Wait, wait, what? Yeah, are we really about to hire the village idiot to start a movie I wrote? No, we're not. Ian, hi, Hey, Christy. Hey, Kim. Hola. Do you guys need any help with anything? No, we don't think so. Are you sure? Because I mean, I'm uh, well, really oh, are you sure? Right now, because right? I. No? I don't think so. I'll let you know if something comes up, though. Yeah. Though we are actually um, auditioning for a film that we're doing, so you should totally come out. Uh, you, you will have to bring food. Oh, all right, I'll be there. You guys need any actors? Seriously? Yeah, I'm a theater minor. I'll bring some of my friends with me. They're totally cool with the whole media thing. Sorry. Okay, yeah, don't say a word. I gotta go, but I'll see you guys later, okay? Okay. Uh, if you are gonna be so adamant about keeping her around, we are gonna have to get her a collar with a bell on it or something, because she cannot just keep popping up like that. Or an electric fence. Yeah, man. Just threw up the deuces and peaced out. Didn't say anything. Where'd you hear that? Classified information, man. Well, look, basically, we get no new renovations, no new equipment, and they cut four of our classes for the fall next semester. That's why they changed the department name. What are you talking about? The department had just quit. What? Yeah. He left without any resignation or anything. 
But I saw him in his office this morning. Where did you see him? His door is always closed. Okay, so are you seriously telling me that you think a Japanese immersion program in the U.S. school system is a bad idea? Because if so, that's racist. Any idea that involves education and Xbox Live is a bad idea, Tim. Think about what you're saying. I have thought about it. There are pie charts in everything. I just want to thank you so very much for this golden opportunity. Now, I've been trained in both acting methods that have made Johnny Depp and Ludacris such an influential part of my life as an actor. So that really you just have nothing to worry about. Ludacris, huh? Ian, a word? Either you get rid of Robert, or I will. <clears throat> Look, Candace, this movie-making game, it's, uh, it's like an ocean, okay? Just trying to make waves. One last chance, Ian. What do you want me to do? You already hired him. Me? Hi, Cat! I brought everyone and the food as promised. Um, everyone here today is kind of a neutral party between the film department and the theater. We, we can't let it get out that they're here or else we'll break the departmental peace treaty and then we won't have any actors. <laughs> and I have one more actress who's coming. Um, she's not a neutral party, but she is really interested in the project. Oh, don't worry about it. I am all over it. Ian? What exactly is happening right now? Hi, Robert. I'm Christy. Cat. Christy. And, um, you need to leave. The audition process isn't over yet. <clears throat> Thanks, Christy. No problem. Okay. If you're going to be our assistant, you have to take it down like five decibels because you scare the hell out of me every time you talk. Uh, okay, come on, let's script together. Um, so, you guys know about the development of the So, if you want to audition with this, you just have to take precautionary measures not to tell the other theater students. Right? Mm -hmm. yeah. And there's one more actress who's coming. She's an MFA student, so we need someone to take care of her and make sure the other theater students don't find Perfect out. Perfect shot, I got it. All right, so does everyone have a copy of the script? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. great. Hello, Christy. Hello, Christy. Oh, I think gangland violence is like the number one way to get shot. I watch a lot of the History Channel. What do, what you, do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? What do you want, Liz? What part of departmental peace treaty don't you understand, Catherine? <sighs> it's Cat. And this is my project, so it has nothing to do with you. I'm going to tell you this once. Leave. You hear that? <laughs> Kitty Cat is telling us to leave. Oh, yeah. Well, we're not leaving until we get our actors back. Is that right? Oh, well, <laughs> you guys don't have to leave. This peace treaty bullshit ends here. <laughs> <laughs> you guys ready for a fight? I'm ready when you are. Fine with me. Drew, go get the boom ball.
We're the MFA acting students, and we don't associate ourselves with anything less than that. I believe anything I love. Just just know the rhythm of my heart. There's a chance we can make it now. When we're rocking and the sun goes down. I believe <clears throat> Hey. Hi. <laughs> Uh, are you, um, are you here for the, for the auditions? Have yeah, I'm Shelly. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, I'm, I'm Timothy. Uh, most call me Tom. Tom? Yeah, that's me. Uh, good old Timothy. Okay, I'm gonna go in now. Uh, th actually, um, there's nobody in there because they're all at lunch right now. I, I'm on time. You, you are. They just, they left me out here, so... What you should probably do instead of going in there, um, is we should tour the production facility, um, so that you're familiar with it, you know, since you're probably going to be working with us, so. Okay. Okay? Um, uh, oh, okay. Uh, sure, we should go this way. Hit it, Drew. And this is the exact spot where I had the idea for Nightcap. Yeah, it just, uh, it, it came to me. Uh, it was like bolted into my brain from the gods and I didn't have to sacrifice my cat or anything. See, that was funny because I don't have a cat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I got that. You're really hot. What? Let me show you the equipment room. So what's your deal? Why do you want to help us? I want to be famous. So, not the project, then. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I mean, I just want to help out. Why are you keeping me from auditioning? I, I, wait, what, what's the question? Come on. Okay, so, a little while ago, some theater kids showed up, and I didn't want you to get in trouble, so. Um, I, I think at this point, I'm not the one who's in trouble. Come on, we gotta go. Yeah.